Good morning, everyone. It's Haley. Welcome to Mom Life Vermont, and welcome to a fun adventure. Now, if you watched my last video, uh, now if you lost, now if you watched my last video, you will know that that was a weigh-in video. I bought a new scale. It was my first time on the scale in about six weeks, which, well, let's see. Maybe it's been longer than that. My last weigh-in was on March 13th, which was on a scale at my doctor's office through my wellness coaches. And I hadn't weighed myself since, and I definitely fell off the rails here, especially with the amount of food I've been eating. Binge eating has definitely been a problem with me pre-weight loss journey, during the weight loss journey. And I feel like I was really, I mean, I don't think I ever admitted to myself prior to maybe a couple of months ago that I actually did binge eat a lot. The fact that I can even like say those things out loud is a really good place to be, but it also makes me really, really sad about how quickly I just melted back into those bad habits the moment many of the supports in place that I had been building were gone. Something Lindsay had said to me very recently, before, I mean on March 2nd, March 1st, I think she had told me was, when life gets stressful, you often revert back to habits that you had, and as you are trying to build new habits, they kind of just become a little bit harder due to the, the other stresses in your life. And I took that to heart a lot in March when it's just March, which is a rough time for us. I kind of took that and made it an excuse in the last couple of months to say, oh, life is really stressful, so it's okay that I'm doing bad. <laughs> when I really should say, all right, that was a blip in my eating habits for that five minutes, instead of saying, I ruined today, so I'm just gonna ruin the rest of the day. So all of this to basically say, I want to get back on track. I want to get 11,000 steps every day. I want to eat healthier every day. I want to see changes on my scale. I want to see changes on my body over the next couple of weeks. I do go back to see my wellness coaches soon. They have both reached out to me via email. I'm definitely going to email them, me them back. So they'll hopefully be able to, one, do some telehealth with me or be able to email me and provide me with a little bit of the support that I, I feel like I'm definitely missing at this point. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying today. I guess this is the kickoff of me doing better during quarantine and getting my shit together on my weight loss journey. I mean, I don't want to be back to 266 pounds. I want to be down to 200 pounds. And my scale right now says that it's 10 pounds heavier than when I came into quarantine. And I want that number to not continue to go up. I want it to go down. And although the weight, the number on the scale should not be the most important thing, right now I am relying on it a lot. So I start every day the same. And I feel like I have not been successful the last couple of weeks. So if I just keep doing the same thing I've been doing, maybe I'm just gonna get the same results. So I've decided to like switch it up a little bit. And although today started exactly the same, so I did start my morning off with a cup of coffee and made it the same exact way. And I think I will continue to start my day off with a cup of coffee, but I had been noticing myself kind of going to a second cup of coffee right off instead of eating something. And then I would, drink that cup of coffee for almost like a couple of hours and then all of a sudden it was like two in the afternoon and I just was not doing what I needed to do. I actually decided I'm going to have lunch and although it's not 100% lunchtime, it's 11 o'clock, I didn't have breakfast, I just had the coffee and I feel like I am getting hungry. Like I need to listen to my body and be like, I'm actually getting hungry. And I have made this Greek salad, which I have just had sitting in my fridge it was something I made expecting to just keep going back to it and I just really haven't and it's good like I had it last night for like an evening snack <sighs> because I was binge eating but anyway today is a new day since it was really good yesterday I'm going to eat it now and I also like I have such good food in my house and I've been just choosing to eat the bad things. I bought crab cakes last week, so I put a couple of those in. So I'm going to have Greek salad on a bed of salad with crab cakes on it, on a wrap maybe. I don't know, the wraps have not been very good lately. So I might just have it like salad style with a little bit of ranch dressing. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna show you guys here in a minute. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. 
I'm trying. I'm very, 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 very much trying. It is interesting. So I just found a YouTuber called Samantha Joe, and I absolutely love her just like comedic style and her energy. And right now she is very much going through the same thing I am going through. And I mean this by the time you're seeing this, this will be a couple months old. She's having conversations with her followers about things that I just feel like so connected to, such as binge eating, feeling gross, like what is this quarantine doing to me? How do I get out of this funk? Because it is true, like I don't necessarily want this to all be about a number on a scale. I really wanna think about how good I was feeling when I was actually going to the gym and eating a bit healthier and on my meds appropriately and my meds are PCOS meds and as I was drifting into this season of social distancing I definitely fell off all those bandwagons and the number on the scale yesterday definitely made me think I don't want to get back to where I was I want to remember how good I was doing and remember how good I was feeling outside of having that scale say a number that is lower than it was I'm just gonna try and eat a little bit healthier I feel like nutrition has definitely been a big issue Lately, I had, I think I said yesterday, I don't really know what you guys saw yesterday, but if you didn't see the video from the, a couple of days ago, then definitely go check it out. In some ways, I have been very good on the exercise portion of this journey throughout the whole thing. And I, although I definitely stopped at the beginning of the social distancing, I got back to exercising fairly quickly. Like I've been doing the 21 day fix, although I think I'm on day... 20 no I'm on day 14 and it I might be on like day 30 like it's taking a long time I'm not doing it as strict as they want uh, and I did run a mile recently there's a video on it go check it out I'm definitely doing exercising about every other day definitely not as much as I was doing before but I feel like it was easier for me to get back into that than it has been for me to stop binge eating and to get back on the nutrition train and it is 100% me and 100% my I want to say my willpower, but Samantha Joe was like, when you are binge eating, it's like so mindless that it's really, it's a lot more than choose to eat healthy. Just made me realize that it's, it's not my, I mean, I mean, it's not, it's, I have to learn the skills to overcome binge eating. It's not necessarily that there's something wrong with me because I binge eat or that I can't do it, like just get over it. There's like a whole process and a whole psychological side of it that I don't completely understand and I'm not gonna sit here and say that I do, but if you are sitting there or you've been in my comments saying like, just stop eating, just stop eating, it's that easy. It's definitely not that easy and thank you, Samantha, for letting me know that it's just not that easy. I'm going to try and make better habits. It's also grocery shopping day and I think what I'm going to try really really hard to do is make sure the food that I'm bringing into my house it like gets me to cook it like I mean getting to cook it but I just feel like I need to make sure that the things that I'm bringing into my house are conducive to a healthier lifestyle and a healthier nutrition because if I just keep buying Oreos and bags of chips those are going to be eaten first and the good stuff is just gonna rot so I'm gonna make lunch. <laughs> exercise bit of the journey has I feel like always come a little bit easier to do <laughs> and one thing that I have definitely incorporated into my life a lot in the last couple of weeks especially as it started to get nicer out around here we're heading from winter into spring is getting out and walking Hensley and myself or just myself have gone to the rail trail probably five out of the last seven days and I've also tried to like mix it up because the rail trail is very very long and there are many trailheads parking spots ways to get on to the to the rail trail by us I'll put a link 
down in the description for the Mississippi Valley Rail Trail if you're at all interested. That, although I'm often like, oh, we're going to the rail trail, it's so many different spots of the rail trail. We went hiking or we went walking on the wildlife refuge in Swanton. We went, I went walking around the complex, a complex here that has this really nice about a mile and a half of loop around it. The issue with bringing Kensley there is there is a playground that you can currently not play on and I think that she would be so distraught if I brought her there and I was not able to let her play on that playground. So I've only gone there by myself but I really like that run. It's very nice. I need to pat myself on the back for the good things. I definitely have been paying a lot of attention to, I guess, the binge eating or kind of like making myself feel bad about the binge eating. And I mean, I've probably had like four or five videos on binge eating in the last month, but I just feel like that has been a focus and the nutrition has always been so hard and so personal. Like I feel like the eating aspect of weight loss might be easy for some people and exercise might be the hard bit and it might be vice versa let me know down in the comments who, which are you is it all hard is it one or the other because I definitely think they're both very very hard but I think one just comes a little bit easier for me but anyway I'm just trying to say I need to congratulate myself on me like I'm getting out a lot more than I used to I'm walking I'm exercising I'm getting about 20 to 30 minutes of probably like 30 minutes of exercise a day maybe I'm trying to do at-home workouts I think about these things as being like oh but I'm not doing them as much as I was before which was before was like November but I'm 1000% doing them more than I was doing it a year ago right like these were not even things that I did or maybe I did like one time and never did again <sighs> Mommy, I can't. Look at where I saw. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's a reindeer farm. Oh, wow. Let me talk from here. Let's go down. Do this one. I gotta keep going, otherwise, I won't make it. Good job, you made it so far! It's like a roof, isn't it, Daddy?
Country Bottom. Say woohoo, we made it! We made it! Okay, I'll meet you down there. <laughs> a good day. I I completely know that one good day does not mean that I'm back on track or that this is going to continue, but it does kind of feel good to know that I, where am I for my steps here? I'm going to get 11,000 steps today. I'm going to do it. I have about an hour left. I'm going to do yoga. I'm about to do yoga. I'm doing the 21 day fix. Today's the yoga day which is the rest day, which I'm like, rest day means I sit down on my butt and I don't do anything, but today's yoga, I'm gonna do the yoga, and I had a regular lunch, and that might have, like, kept me on track a little bit today. Typically, I feel like I worry that starting to eat is gonna make me eat more, but maybe if I eat, like, full meals, then I'll eat less, or at least not snack or binge um throughout the day it was a good day i hope you guys enjoyed today let me know how you guys thought it it went anything i said today and then um the beard is out and brown and yeah if you guys are on a journey if how like if you're having a good day let me know if you're having a bad day let me know i want to be a part of your journey i want to help you along your way much like you guys are helping me along on mine all right guys i'll see you guys next time Bye-bye.